with all the excitement of the pond <coughs> play working, pond perking, uh, I skipped a, a chance to show you this. Uh, by now you should recognize this. This is the outlet at the bottom of the slope which I am covering with zanjas uh, to uh, <coughs> irrigate it. Uh, and I'm, the water's really getting slower now. It's just almost August. But you can pretty clearly see there's there's one, a little tiny one there, and a third one here. These are Oyas de Agua, where water's coming up under pressure. And I'll continue to dig back into the hillside, as I said I would before. But what was a, a real interesting new development for me was that I hit a horizon of sod that's about eight inches, ten inches below that clay. The, uh, you know, when I first hit it, I thought, what is this, buried rope or something? No, that that's sod. There, there was a, that was the layer, the top layer of the ground at a certain point. Now, that still doesn't explain to me whether this is an old well or the, more likely the outlet for the, uh, for the mine that went up through there, either a shaft mine or a strip mine to be determined. But I did want to show you that. Uh, much to my surprise. All right, let me, I'm going to go up and I'll probably show you the way things look up there because I'm going to probably stop filming this daily. To orient you, there's the uh, pig's to, uh, tomato patch. And uh, it's morning, I haven't done anything here yet, but you can see through the night, <clears throat> the water has been working its way down the hillside, and I'm spreading it out through these zonjas. And it, it came down this far. Actually, it came down a little further. It's going back now. And uh, there's a zonja. I'm going to start one here, sort of arbitrarily, because it looks like a good opportunity. The ground's soft. So I'll show you in a minute what I've done. There, now, now that's just a scratch with the hoe, and it was just a guess at, at what, what might be level. I, I won't know what's dead level until it fills with water, which would probably be in another five minutes. It would probably fill with water. But in the meantime, it is spreading that out along the hillside. Now I'm going to work my way up, and, and uh, the places that it's leaking particularly, I'll hoe shut. And... Uh, just, and then when I get to the top, or gradually, I'll show you what it's looking like. A way to explain what, I, what I'm doing <laughs> is I'm trying to have the, have the water go down the hillside as slowly as possible. Uh, and so I'm not actually trying to make it go the whole way down the hill, quite the opposite. I want it to go, go the whole way down the hill, but I want it to go very, very slowly, soaking the hill as it goes. And this is working like a dream as far as I'm concerned. I don't know if you can tell. But I, I started up again because here's a new development on the south side of this slope. Uh, I, I was directing more water in this over here and it, it is coming out and it's made its way the whole way down beyond my my work area. So I'm going to get down there and interrupt that uh, fall line with some proposed if I can find old sanjas, I will, that I did like 40 years ago. But uh, otherwise, I'll, I'll propose some just to, to slow that up. Well, there's actually quite a bit to do here. The, the uh, ground had been softened enough through the night with that infiltration that, that with the corner of my hoe, I could just scratch those sanja proposals. And you can see this one's already beginning to fill. And uh, this one I had done yesterday, uh, and and I was able to extend it. So actually, from what I've done today, I could this morning I could say I've probably added, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 zanja feet to my system. Although of course they have to be developed, and I may change the position to turn too. But you can see the point. I hope that infiltrating the soil with just the right amount of water softens it, makes it more amenable to life in general, and it makes it uh, possible easier to uh, continue the work.
I like a view of this system from a place like here <laughs> where you can see how curvy all these zonjas are as they go through the various things that have been done to that surface and they're all clear you know they're not they're, the water's running if, if it weren't running they would they would uh, get greenish looking and not healthy looking or, or then just dry up which looks better I'm going to take one more view or well, I say that but then I always go on from up above okay this this view is my original one and I suppose it'd be if you were looking for a before and after a couple of shots this would be the place to get them from So it's tuned up. Uh, I, I'll come by here every morning and tune it up, but I don't expect a lot more development until we get a little bit more rain or, or an, uh, another rain. But in the meantime, it's doing its work. All right, this time I think I am finished for now. Bye.